So uh, what do you think of the new uh, clergy sweatpants for Zoom? Actually, I think it, it should be an appropriate uh, apparel for clergy from here on out, Deacon Mark. To be honest, yeah. clergy sweatpants have he... really changed my life. Yeah, clergy sweats. Why, why have we not thought of this before? I think sweatpants are really an expression of God because sweatpants are just so welcome and accepting of who I am. Um, and make me feel so comfortable just being, you know, in like who I am in my own skin. Like, I feel like sweatpants could really be a beautiful meditation on like who, who God really is. Just loving, yeah. accepting, comfortable. I think of, I think that like my sweatpants, it's like, do you remember that gospel song, Plenty Good Room in the Father's Kingdom? There's also mm -hmm. just immense amount of room in, in, in clergy sweatpants. So let's, let's, um, yeah, I, yeah I'm I glad think that, it's like something to do with like God's unconditional love that just like when you wear sweatpants, you just know you're loved immediately. I think that's true. Yeah, let's let's go. With that. <laughs> I think that sounds wonderful. All right. Uh, hey, everybody. Uh, we should have probably made this video at mass last night. But we didn't. So now we are in in different places. Uh, I'm Mark Shiner. Uh, I'm Catholic deacon, Catholic campus minister at Colgate. Most of you already know me. Um, and I'm wearing the shirt that I always wear for videos, as is Father. Um, but we're wearing our clergy sweatpants. And that's a nice sweater. <clears throat> Thank you. Nice sweater and a nice, very subtle dab. That you well, did. as you know, T. Swift came out with a new album, and one of Taylor Swift's songs is Cardigan. So it is. Yeah. This morning I said I will put on a cardigan because Taylor Swift sang about a cardigan. Yeah, actually, my I, I didn't I didn't even tell you this, but last night I originally had uh, two Taylor Swift references in my homily, but I I took them out and I thought I'm going to save these for when the students are back actually in mass. I had mm -hmm. two refer lyrical references from the new record. I really did. <laughs> That's awesome. I look, I look forward to those references and homilies in the near future. Yeah, so, no, I mean, it's, it's going to be a big T-Swift semester, I think. Be super T-Swift. Yeah. Awesome. But dude, but, last night we did our first Zoom Mass. We like, did. we're back. We are so back. We're so back, people. Like, oh my gosh. We and we've got so many things coming up, too. So it's going to be, it's going to be crazy how many things. It actually is kind of crazy how many things, like literally, maybe. Well, no, you're not supposed to say that anymore. It's not crazy. Literally? No, well, literally, I think. Literally is okay. Crazy oh, okay. is not okay anymore. Uh, so I'm a big literally guy. I always say literally. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, we have what's coming up. Uh, uh, in two days, in one, or Wednesday, uh, we're going to start... Uh, Liturgy of the Word. Uh, that's going to be at five o'clock, and you can come. And it's going to basically be I'm going to be uh, the person running that, and it's going to basically uh, be the first half of the of the mass. They're going to be online. We're going to uh, have an opportunity to to uh, talk with each other about the readings, um, pray for each other. So I think that'll be a good time, and it it will be probably about as long as the regular mass, which is at what 22, 23 minutes. So. Great way to connect with some folks here. I'm, I'm going to hashtag that, Deacon Mark. Word Wednesday. Word Wednesday. Word Liturgy Wednesday. of the hashtag Word Wednesday. I like that. You, yeah. Have you been dabbing a lot over this during this quarantine? Well, while I was wearing sweatpants for five months, I decided that every time I have a little accomplishment during the day, I must dab. That's super solid. And That's, now that my dad has gotten much shorter because now I do it in public and I don't even realize it. Like when I checked out in the supermarket this past week at Price Shopper, I was like, oh wait, no, I shouldn't dab when I just filled my you groceries up. You dobe, you shouldn't. I dubbed. I think in past tense is dobe. My, my linguistics major son, I think told me that it's dobe, but we could, we could that would be a whole other. Something video. to pray on during Word Wednesday, people. Something we can pray about. In. 5 p.m. Absolutely. Wednesday with Deacon Mark. It's going to be Absolutely. amazing. It's, no, it's going to be good. It's going to be great. So we also have Newman lunches starting up next Monday, uh, September 7th. And it's going to be me. And I'm going to be talking about, uh, it's going to be called Alone and Silent with the World Collapsing Around You. Uh, what How do you know? Same, 
Huh? How did you know? <laughs> what? That's how I feel. No, right? <laughs> but that's how St. Benedict felt when he, when he created his rule for monasteries. The Roman Empire was collapsing. And uh, so he created a rule for how monks could live together. And uh, that's going to be next, that's going to be Monday, September 7th at 1140. And then you're doing one the following Monday. So we're, we're just like, and you want to tell them about what that yeah. is? Yeah, I'm going to be talking about overcoming spiritual discouragement. Because I feel like during the pandemic, there's a lot of discouragement going on. And actually, I'm going to reference St. Ignatius of Loyola and his spiritual exercises to talk about how we overcome feelings of discouragement when they come. So pumped. That's awesome. And if anybody's thinking of, uh, of taking the, the spiritual exercises PE class, that would be a fantastic tie-in. And maybe some people who hear your talk are going to want to get into the spiritual exercises thing. It's all like coming together. Spiritual exercises. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Best kind of exercise. It's not the truma. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. What else do we, we, um, mass, uh, next week, we're having another zoom mass, uh, next Sunday. And then after that, presuming everything, that was really nice. That was a nice zoom. Um, it's that's, like my, that's my, that's my thing for zoom mass zoom. And do you fly you a little bit? And you pray it? hard and then you zoom out. See, I think you should fly a little bit with it like that. Like mm. you're taking off. Have you thought I of like that? It. I'm going to think yeah. about that. I'm going to pray about it. Pray about I might it. do it. I might do it on the Zoom mass this Sunday. Take it call. to the Lord. And if then you guys after come the, to mass, that might happen. It might happen. Anything might happen. And then the following week, uh, assuming that quarantine goes well, uh, we're going to be in person. We're gonna, it's going to be fantastic. What? I can't, cannot wait to have people back uh, in the chapel. It's going to be the best day ever. Amazing. It's going to be crazy. Um, is there anything else we should tell them right now? Read your Newman news. Uh, there's a Newman lot news. of stuff in it. Um, anything else? Oh, we love uh, you guys. We miss you terribly. Miss you terribly. Um, we're going to start also, making we these. we can't wait to see the first years in person. It's the, yeah, this is, this is terrible. Like last, last night, I, I love, I love to say mass, uh, you know, and being at with you guys, I uh, saw that so many first years came in at the same time. We just want to actually get to meet you in person. Can't wait to do that. So that's coming up real soon. Uh, stay strong. Everyone a spiritual hug. Exactly. From six that, Like, away. how do you like this? Yeah. Like usually I'm just like, okay, you know, like and then this. people know I'm spiritually hugging them from a safe okay. social distance. That's beautiful. Okay. I like that. Anyway, everybody hang in there. Uh, and it, we're, it's all going to be okay. We're going to get through this. We're going to get through it together with God's help. Anything else we should tell them? I think that's it. So all excited. Right. So pumped. All right. All right. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. We'll see you soon. God bless y'all. We'll see you.